If you spent any time on like tech Twitter or finance Twitter or whatever, they were talking about the NVIDIA earnings, which came out last week, as if it was the second coming of Christ. Or it was like the make or break moment for the whole industry. Yeah. You know, whatever happened with NVIDIA's earnings would speak about the future of AI, the future of the tech industry, the future of the American economy. Mm. Uh, humanity. Humanity is was contingent on what NVIDIA reported. And I'm happy to report humanity fights for an, another day. Number go up. Because <laughs> n- number went up to an extraordinary degree. Number has never gone up so hard. So NVIDIA surpassed Wall Street en- estimates with a 265% increase in revenue year over year. So they've nearly tripled revenue year over year. Bearing in mind... Number went up a year ago. Number hard. already went up very hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, twenty-two billion in revenue, net in, and they're doing all of this at a profit margin of around eighty something percent. Yeah, which is absolutely staggering. Net income, i.e., like profit, twelve point three billion dollars, five dollars a share. Just like staggering amounts of money for a company. As let us reiterate. 10 years ago, had pictures of elves with bow and arrows on their boxes of their product that they're still selling. I gave a company by and for gamers <laughs> to play the latest titles at high resolutions and silky frame rates was their whole business. And their valuation now... It's $2 trillion. They've two, surpassed two, $2 trillion. They've passed $2 trillion, again, <laughs> making them one of the most valuable companies on earth. One of the five most valuable companies is NVIDIA. And again, to reiterate... What's going on here? We've mentioned a few times. You can go back and listen to our full NVIDIA episode if you so wish. But it is AI. Yeah. They are the index stock for AI. Yeah. They're designing the vast majority of chips that are used from everyone from Amazon to OpenAI, Microsoft. If you're doing any like big scale inference work with AI, training models. Every time you type something into ChatGPT or Gemini or Perplexity or whatever the hell you're using, Microsoft, any Microsoft Office crap, like any, sorry, not crap, it's good oh, software. Yeah. Um, I do have- Tens of st- thousands of I, NVIDIA GPUs I have a stake firing. in Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they're firing. Anytime that they release a new version of ChatGPT or whatever it is, Copilot, they're using NVIDIA GPUs because they're the best um, because like 10 years ago, um, Jensen Wang, the CEO of NVIDIA, recognized that our graphics cards are great for AI. They released a compiler called CUDA, which made it easier to use graphics cards to kind of program them how you want. And so they are basically the only, they're not the only game, but they're basically the only game in town. The only game, like they, they are, and we mentioned this a few, to, a few, a few episodes doing ago. Doing AI. Like their, their top, top of the line chip costs 30 grand and they are producing and selling them as fast as they possibly can. Yeah, yeah. And there's a vast backlog of people who want those chips. So right now, let, let's talk about why they're making so much money. So one is that, basically. It's like AI is the hot new rage. The markets are, uh, well, they're doing okay, but like they're being driven by the lust for AI. Like, as we've discussed before, the markets retreated. The price, the valuation of, of big companies, of most companies and small companies, startups, et cetera, um, retracted because interest rates went up. Uh, the only thing that's really keeping markets alive, because a lot of stocks have hit all-time highs recently, is the AI boom. Obviously, NVIDIA has hit an all-time high again. So there's a, a, a thirst for AI. At the same time, you have huge companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, who have cloud products. Uh, cloud product being like, I'm starting a business. I want to write code and develop a product. I host it on Google or Amazon's AWS or Microsoft's Azure, whatever. So those companies are buying fucking NVIDIA chips so that you can build their product on their clouds. That's basically what's happening here. Yeah. Um, as well as other companies want, like Meta, who don't actually have a cloud product, uh, using AI in order to... Uh, this is what's interesting, actually. Let's talk about Meta for a minute. So we've talked long and hard about how Apple changed their tracking. It was our first episode ever. It was about how ATT, Apple changed how apps could track you on your mobile phone. It hurt Meta initially. They lost a bunch of money on it. They rebuilt basically how they serve ads, largely using AI models and have been very effective at it. So Meta are buying shitloads of GPUs so that their ads can be better and the, and the friggin' videos they show you on their TikTok competitor reels can be better. All of this is happening once. 
OpenAI releases ChatGPT. Everyone falls in love with LLMs. Everyone's like, oh, fuck, we need that. We want that. And now you have this situation where, yeah, nation states, where like Gulf states are buying GPUs. No one wants to be left behind on AI, so everyone wants GPUs. Well, at the same time, companies like Meta, Google, Microsoft can't acquire other companies. 